Welcome to EasyML. We'll do a machine learning exercise for a simple use case. How is coffee as a stimulant? We're going to measure how coffee acts as a stimulant for human body. Let's say you performed this experiment in the lab and recorded the reading spread. And you recorded the readings in an Excel spreadsheet. You had the cups of coffee consumed. Um, then you also recorded whether it was caffeinated or decaffeinated. And then a bunch of other things, like what was the coffee brand, the time of the day when you recorded this experiment. And at that time, what was your typing speed in characters per minute? Now, that is the outcome that, um, that we are trying to determine. In other words, how coffee makes you stimulated or jittery and as a result, increases or decreases your typing speed. So this is your training data to train EasyML to predict the outcome of typing speeds. As you can see, it has 18, let's see, it has 80 odd rows. Um, and let's proceed with it and build a machine that can predict your world. So we'll follow the accelerated mode. Typically, you just keep hitting next. The machine makes default choices for you. Um, it says upload your training data. Yes, let's do that. We'll upload the file that we just looked at. There we are. Ah, it says you have less training data. ML requires, machine learning requires considerable training data, typically in the hundreds of rows. But don't worry, EasyML would use perturbation to augment your training data sufficiently so that you can proceed with the exercise. But still, the paucity of data can impact the accuracy of the prediction, just so that you're aware. And EasyML, being easy as it is, will tell you about that, how it impacts. So let's keep rolling. Um, so it's now going ahead, removing outliers, checking for dependent predictors, studying the distribution of your training data, and then it stops. It now is saying, please identify your outcome variable that you are trying to predict. Well, like we said, we are trying to predict how fast we type and due to our coffee intake. Next, and it says, so you enter how fast you're trying to predict is the outcome. Yeah, that's right, let's keep going. And it says, congratulations, the data has been cleansed, normalized, your training data is now ready to train EasyML. Yes, I want to continue building models on this platform, a predictive model at that. So now it's considering derived predictors, building various statistical models to find out which ones best predict for your particular use case. It's as if several of these models are in race to see which ones, which one is the best. So here, see that? The one that is the best is bagged decision tree, but there are a whole bunch of other models, bridge regression and linear regression that all competed so we will use bad decision trees for our prediction. All right, so I'll hit next, I'll keep rolling. Ah, see how transparent this machine, this platform EasyML is? It actually tells you what, how important a role was played by the various input variables in predicting or determining the outcome of typing speed. So the most important role was played by whether or not the coffee was caffeinated or decaffeinated. You'd kind of expect that, right? Caffeinate, caffeine in coffee makes you more jittery. It acts as a stimulant. The other one is the number of cups of coffee consumed. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But the other two factors, remember, coffee brand and time of the day, didn't matter as much. I guess these two were frivolous predictors of not much importance. Now, this 
is a key insight. Machine was able to find the important ones, only use them for making predictions, and dispense with, do away with the not important ones. It's able to make that distinction between important and unimportant. Okay, so let's keep moving here. And congratulations, the model has been built, and so we'll go on to the next step where we want to predict. And yes, we will use the model that best predicts our world, which is a bag decision tree. And it says, okay, well, I'm ready to make predictions. Uh, machines ready, trained, uh, upload your test data. All right, so here's it's the test data that we will be uploading. Now, notice two important things about this data. Number one is the name and order of the various variables are exactly the same as for training data. As also are the type of values you populate. See, for instance, the number of cups of coffee exactly as you caffeinated, decaffeinated, exactly as you had in your training data, and so on and so forth. And very importantly, unlike for training data, the test data file has no values for outcome variable, the typing speed. See that? It's blank here. EZML will predict these. That's the whole purpose of this exercise, right? So, okay, cool. All right. So let's go ahead, upload this file, and here's the test data. And it runs it through the decision tree model that was the best, and it has made the predictions. So let's check out the predictions. Ah, so it says if you drink three cups of coffee and the caffeinated type, then your typing speed would be about 286 characters per minute versus if you just had one cup of coffee and that to decaffeinate it and your fingers move a little slower and you type about 187 characters per second. Makes sense, good. The machine learned well. Um, you know what, what if we were a little confused? Like, yeah, you said three cups, it's 286 characters per minute. Why did you make that prediction? Can you please explain? Well, let's go. The machine is very transparent, like we've been saying all along. That's why it's easy. So let's go ahead and make that prediction. See that? Select it, and lo and behold, it tells you exactly why it made that prediction. It says it did it because you consume decaffeinated coffee. Uh, I'm sorry, you consume caffeinated coffee, and the number of cups were way more than one. And that's why you're typing fast. And in our regular bar graph as well, caffeinated played the biggest role, and the fact that you consume three cups of coffee as identified up. How easy is machine learning by easy ML to do your experiments and derive insights about it? Hope you enjoyed it.